Hi, my name is Aaliyah Baylor, and I'm the co-owner of Make My Cake. My memory of living in the Bronx, I mean, I am a Harlem girl. Uh, every day I've spent in Harlem as a, as a young child, but our first residence was in the Bronx, and it was a fifth floor walk up, and my mom decided to start a business. <laughs> a cake business in the apartment with the encouragement from my grandmother. And as a stay-at-home mom, it was four of us. And we all played a role in assisting her. But I was the one that came up with some of the ideas that I would ask her to make for, you know, cakes that she would practice. And I would invite my friends over and we would eat these cakes that she would create for maybe about 20, 30 people and there might be only five of us eating it. So my, my memory goes as far back as five years old because that's when my mom started. Starting a business in a home is very comforting. So you tend to not think about the exit strategy of going into a brick and mortar. That challenge was met once I became the person who was doing the business. My mom was an executive in corporate America um, when I was in my second year of college and she decided that she wasn't going to continue doing the cake business and it pretty much fell in my lap and what fell in my lap was the business and the expectations to take it beyond the apartment. Meaning that challenge is it comes with having a good team. My parents have always supported me in carrying on the business. Our clients continue to be a force. They didn't see me as not a credible individual to take on what my mother had started, so that was really rewarding. So being able to have a business go into a brick and mortar um, it was, it, it met us challenges, but 20 plus years later, we are still, we're still in the game. When I continued this business, I'll say that, I was a, a young adult, 18, 19 years old. I had clients who range all over, and one of my clients was a brand marketer. And she decided that the logo that I had on my business card wasn't suitable for, you know, it didn't represent what I was doing. She said, you know, we can enhance this. She said, because you make such wonderful cakes, you need to have a wonderful logo. And, and that began the discussion of the creation of the logo that you see. And when I was going over to her home to look at the design, she ran her business out of her home as well. Uh, I asked her for the address and she stated to me 10 M and I was writing it down and I asked her to repeat it again in the apartment. She said 10 M is it make my cake. I said, oh, I like that. <laughs> and the, the logo was born as well as the, the, the new name was born. So, And just to add a little bit to that, I made her a cake several cakes for her birthday in exchange for that logo. So that's not a bad, you know, when you're in business, look for those who you can barter with because you never know which, what the outcome, what you'll get as a gift. <laughs> Someone who I consider to be a game changer besides my mom was B. Smith. B. Smith, growing up, seeing her on the covers of magazines, having enjoyed meals from her restaurant. I mean, she was a household name and Knowing her story, she took one. Um, she took one profession, went into another profession, and went to another, and and I just saw that as inspiring because not always we look we don't look at what our idea can give birth to, and we shouldn't we shouldn't think that there's only one thing that we can do as an entrepreneur. So seeing her on TV, doing, creating different lifestyles, 
I was I was very very impressed from from early on, and I'm continuing to strive to be that individual who can do multiple things, who can have a product line, who can open up other businesses. And I I really feel like she was a game changer very early on as a black woman. There wasn't that many people to look at in this industry um, that gave me that familiar sense of, oh, I can be like her. My family is originally from Mississippi. Um, on my mom's side, my dad's side, Virginia. So we are Southerners, you know, who have created um, a home in Harlem. My mom and my grandmother moved to Harlem when my mother was a little girl. My grandmother, you know, stayed in Harlem, ran a business in Harlem, as well as my grandfather. They were both entrepreneurs. And, you know, Mississippi is, is still home. Um, we have property there that, you know, we're talking about developing and creating uh, a resource for our produce and uh, items that can be created, um, use to create some of our wonderful desserts. I knew young that, not that I couldn't work for someone else, but I've always been my own business owner. Um, I made cookies at nine years old and would sell them in my building um, to my neighbors every weekend. And you know that was an int introduction to me getting a sense of having my own, my own resource, my own finance. And we look at hobbies as hobbies of things that we, we enjoy. Why not turn that into a business? And my mom's hobby was doing cakes. I was blessed with that same gift. And having the ability to be liberated and having my own business has given me different attributes like being more resilient, um, being a risk taker. And if, you're, if you have those qualities, there's many qualities that come in being an entrepreneur, but the foundation is knowing I can take a risk, I can step out on faith, and I can make it happen. I'm Aaliyah Baylor, co-owner of Make My Cake, and I am a game changer.